she strung him up on the nearest cottonwood. Mr. Donnybrook had never been so bored in his life. We're now in the camera room of the UCLA Animation Workshop, and we're talking to David Silverman. David, mm -hmm. let me congratulate you. I think it's a terrific film. Thank you very much. Yes, and, and I'd like you to, if you would, explain to us some of the techniques that you've used in, in producing the film and, and making it yourself. All right. This uh, film is uh, an exercise in character animation for me. It was the first time I've done character animation. Mm -hmm. I'd done clay before at the University of Maryland. Uh, I've been drawing all my life, so I understood a little bit about moving a character frame by frame, mm -hmm. and I understood about drawing, which is what you need to do to be an animator. So what you basically very quickly do is you do your drawings first. This is one drawing of the elephant, which is a, one out of a sequence of about, I guess, 40 in that series. Mm -hmm. um, the draw, all the drawing was done first, and then when that was completed, the, a cell, a piece of celluloid referred to as cells, placed on top of it and inked. And then when the inking process was done, you flip it over and comes the painting process. Now that you have to lay out the, uh, for the shooting of it uh, mm -hmm. on, on various kind of step sheets in, in some, some way. Exactly. Yeah, we have um, what are referred to as exposure sheets or X sheets, mm -hmm. which look like this. And these plot out what the camera is going to do on each frame. So this is a technical guide for, for the, when you get to the shooting. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's a yeah. blueprint, musical score, mm -hmm. however you want to look at it. Now uh, can you show us how this goes on the animation stand, which is right here? Sure. And, okay, I think and I And how the series of drawings works on this animation stand. Okay, now roughly you would set your background like so. And you'd have your first drawing. Mm -hmm. Put it down and Actually, a, a piece of glass would come down on top, flatten it out. You shoot a frame like that. Then the glass comes back up. Mm -hmm. And you continue that way. And your next drawing goes down. Next drawing goes down. Shoot a frame. This particular scene is actually fairly straightforward because I don't have any of the problems of uh, having to move the camera. Uh, having a dissolve or something like that, which takes more time because then you not only have to put in the new drawing, but you have to do some movement with the camera. And um, actually, when I did this scene, I shot uh, two frames per drawing. Mm -hmm. I'm shooting one So, so it would be 12 per second exactly. instead of 24. Exactly. That uh, is because you can get away with that, and it cuts your labor down by a factor of two. Um, if you have the time and the money, like Disney did, they sh shot a bulk of their stuff on once, mm -hmm. which is why their stuff looks the, the way it does. Yeah. So smooth. Now, how long did it take you to make the film? Say two years of so, labor. Right. So it's obviously very time consuming. Yeah. Uh, would you happen to know offhand how some of the how long it takes for Disney to do some of their shorts, the the five minute, uh, four minute little uh, shorts that yeah. that we used to see in theaters? I don't know about Disney specifically. I know that specifically Warner Brothers mm -hmm. had like a six-week schedule mm -hmm. to do a five, six-minute short. Now, they had a team of about, well, you had a director, you mm -hmm. had a layout person, you had a background person, an mm -hmm. assistant background person, four animators, some assistants, and a whole slew of inking and painting people. Mm -hmm. I was doing all these jobs yeah. on this one film. Right. Thank you for uh, spending time with us.